Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to treat blossom end rot if your tomatoes get it and also how to treat it preventatively so you don't get it. This is one of my tomatoes in my containers and you can see the bottom is perfectly green. This is the blossom end. This is where the flowers, that's why they call it blossom end rot. If you have blossom end rot, this whole bottom will be brown and you will know. Blossom end rot happens because your tomato isn't utilizing calcium efficiently and that can either happen because you don't have enough calcium in your uh, container soil or in your ground or there's watering issues and the root system can't use the calcium that's there. Either case you want to treat it by one making sure you're watering regularly but you also want to add calcium to your plants and blossom end rot seems to happen more for me in my container tomatoes because the plants just suck the nutrients out. The best way to address it is to make a limestone slurry and I do that using pelleted lime. You can buy this uh, you know at your local Home Depot and in here I have about two and a half gallons of water. There's no exact recipe, don't stress about it. Put in about one or two handfuls per gallon. So that's three and two and a half gallons. You would mix that up thoroughly and you end up with something like this. Make sure you give it a stir. Some of the calcium or the limestone will settle to the bottom. But all you're doing is taking about 18 ounces, well, or 16 ounces, this is an 18 ounce cup, and put in two or three cups right in to your container tomatoes. That, this is a uh, 18 gallon container, so I'm gonna put three into there. That will put lime right into your container. This is a five gallon container. I'm gonna give this two cups. You can see sitting on top is some side dressing fertilizer. This is the emergency fix. One, if you have blossom end rot, you definitely wanna do this. Just get the calcium to your plant. It's also so preventative. Um, I have a lot of tomatoes growing. They're doing very well. It's the beginning of July. They're going to need more calcium. Some people worry that the addition of that limestone will change the pH of your soil. It can. It's not going to change it so quickly that it damages your tomato. And anyway, you really have to change your container soil about every year and re-amend it. So this is a quick way to treat blossom end rot. If you have it on your container tomatoes, I'm sorry, in your earth bed tomatoes, make the same sort of slurry, about one to two handfuls per gallon. And just, I would pour about half of a bucket, if you filled this up to the top, put in four or five handfuls of the lime, mixed it up. About half of this goes to each plant in your uh, garden that's planted in the earth. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a way that you can treat blossom end rot. If you have it, it's a way you can prevent blossom end rot. Please check out my other YouTube videos and also check out my website at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thank you.